I record this YouTube video um, to show how to get into uh, a Siemens IQ 500 or similar model. The exact model of this one is uh, uh, is on the uh, YouTube description. Um, I learnt at uh, quite a bit of cost actually how to um, how to get into this thing. So I thought I'd post this YouTube video um, so that if anybody had a similar issue with it, they'd um, they'd be able to get into it a, a lot easier. So if your if your door's locked and, and won't open, um, there's usually um, three reasons for it. Um, one, if it's full of water um, and the, uh, the machine just locks out and won't let you open the door. Um, secondly. Um, the interlock switch, which is uh, behind this panel here, um, is faulty and not working. Um, and then clearly you won't be able to open the door either. Um, and then thirdly, the problem which I had um, was uh, the actual um, handle itself had broken inside this inside this plastic piece. Um, and then clearly if if the handle won't um, unlock the door, then uh, you've got similar problems. So, firstly, what happens if it's full of water? So, well, conveniently, Siemens have put that little access panel at the bottom of uh, of the machine. Um, and uh, usually, if the uh, machine is not uh, emptying, it's because this filter here um, is full of crud. So what you can do is disconnect this pipe here, take off this this plastic end, um, drain it into a bucket, um, and that will get all the water out of the system. You can then unscrew this plastic filter. I won't do it now, but it just unscrews really, really easily. Um, clean it all out, um, and then the machine should be working. But if that's not your problem and the machine's empty, no water in it, and it still won't open, um, it may be a problem with the uh, with the interlock door switch, which is behind this panel here. Now, conveniently, again, Siemens have put this little plastic manual interlock open. So all you have to do is pull down on this this lever and at the same time open the door handle um, and then that should um, that should pop the um, pop the door open um, and uh, it's kind of a, a manual override on the interlock um, but unfortunately for me none of those options worked because I uh, it was actually a piece of plastic that had broken inside this door handle um, and uh, that meant um, I couldn't really find a way of, uh, of actually getting into the system. A lot of YouTube videos that will tell you um, that all you have to do is run a piece of cord or string behind behind you and then pop the uh, pop the door open. But unfortunately on, on this model um, it doesn't work. Um, one because the actual handle itself um, opens outwards, so actually getting a, a piece of cord around there won't actually um, unlock the door. And secondly, you've got a big massive recess anyway, so you can't actually get a, uh, a piece of cord in there. But, as I found out once I got the machine open, conveniently, um, if you take a um, a little knife or a or a flat screwdriver, um, and you actually go up halfway up, approximately halfway up, um, and push. Um, you can actually open the door, um, and uh, that will allow you to then um, take all the door apart. <laughs> Um, and actually uh, fix what's uh, what's wrong in the, in the door handle. Now, if all those three methods fail, the last resort, unfortunately, is to um, is to actually break 
the um, um, the door interlock um, itself and that's unfortunately what um, I had to do because I didn't realize until I take this guy apart um, that you could actually get a little um, knife in there um, to actually open the door so the expensive option and the last resort option is to uh, take the two screws at the back here out pop off the lid and then down there in the top of the behind these various weights if you get your hand down there you can you will actually see the um, the door interlock um, unfortunately you then have just have to wrench it off um, from behind and actually break it this is the door interlock itself this is the one that I had to break um, and it sits here behind this panel and unfortunately what you actually have to do is prise off the back cover with your hand which you can do this back cover and then you can actually get your finger in and then actually pop the uh, manually pop the actual lock off um, these things are about 30 quid oh, 40 euros, 50 dollars from, um, from your local uh, parts store ok Hope, hopefully that was useful um, for, for some of you out there. Good luck.